Hey everyone, Drew Kriegmer here, Wealth Advisor with Kriegmer Wealth. Hope you guys are doing well. In this week's 5-Minute Finances, we're going to talk about a topic that has a lot of ins and outs, but it's really critical for you to have a firm grasp of in order to ensure that you are doing everything you can to set yourself up for the retirement that you envision. And that topic is IRA and Roth IRA contribution amounts, limits, and ways you can put money inside of an IRA account for your future use if you have a different varied working situation. And so, as many of you are aware, an IRA or a Roth IRA is an individual retirement account, meaning it's owned solely by one individual. And every year, you are able to contribute up to a maximum amount, depending upon how much income you earn. There are varying ins and outs and pros and cons to contributing to an IRA or to a Roth IRA. The major pro of an IRA is if your income is below a certain amount, you receive a current tax year income tax deduction by contributing to an IRA. With a Roth IRA, you are already paying taxes on the amount that you're contributing to the Roth, but if you are over the age of 59 and a half, you can pull out your contributions and your earnings income tax free, which is a major benefit if your income taxes are going to be taxed at a higher rate than what they are right now. And so everyone's situation is different. I encourage you to speak with a trusted professional or do your research to determine which account is right for you. From a contribution standpoint, if you're under the age of 50, you can contribute up to $6,000 a year. And if you're over the age of 50, you can contribute up to $7,000 a year. Additionally, with IRA accounts, if you are filing single and you earn less than $65,000 a year, you can receive that full income tax deduction. If you are married, filing jointly, and both spouses are covered by a retirement plan through their employer, that number is $104,000 a year of combined household income, where if you are under that amount, you receive an income tax deduction. And if you're married, filing jointly with one individual covered by a retirement plan at work, that number is $196,000. Now, obviously, if your income is over that amount, you might say, hey, I, I think I still want to contribute to an IRA, or hey, I want to do a backdoor Roth conversion. How do I get funds into an IRA? Well, there's something available called a non-deductible IRA contribution. And what that is, it's, it's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. You can contribute to an IRA up to $6,000 or $7,000 a year, and you won't receive an income tax deduction for that contribution. Now, if those funds are invested and there's earnings associated with that contribution, you will pay income tax on those earnings whenever those funds come out of your IRA account in the future. With Roths, the situation on the income front is a little different. The maximum earnings for a single individual who can con still contribute to a Roth account is $124,000. And for a married couple filing jointly, that number is $196,000. Where if your income is below that amount, you can make a full contribution to the Roth IRA. And one of the biggest questions that I've had in recent weeks and years is, hey, one of us is working, we're married, one of us is working, the other one's not. So can I only contribute to one IRA or one Roth account for myself since I am the one working and earning income? The answer is no. You actually can use something called a spousal contribution for both spouses to make IRA or Roth IRA contributions. And so as long as you have earned income above $12,000 or $14,000 for your family, you are able to make a maximum contribution for both individuals, man and wife, to a Roth or IRA account. Now, there's a lot of information. We just covered a lot of ground. We are attaching a blog post to this video for you to read and have a clearer picture of what your income limits are, what your contribution maximums are, and really everything you need to know about contributing to an IRA or Roth IRA account. If you have any questions or you just need some guidance, don't hesitate to put a comment here or shoot us an email or give us a call and we'll be more than willing to help.